Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. So today's gonna be a continuation of the $20 equipment lot. We actually got this unit from that lot. And the one on the right is uh, from an early video that I did not end up fixing because there was just way too much wrong with it. So with the uh, addition of this one to the parts stash, we should be able to rob what we need off of there uh, to make this one worth it to uh, bring back. So we know this one runs. It needs a carb clean, probably a gasket diaphragm kit. I think the fuel tank needed to be cleaned out and lines, and uh, we'll see what else we need to get after that. So I'm going to strip off all the parts we need off of that one, get that laid out inside, show you what we're gonna reuse, and uh, move on to get this one running. All right, well, I got these parts pulled off that other unit, and I'll go over those in a second. Um, but if you hadn't seen the other video on this one, I can link it in the description. It's not very good <laughs> because it's my first video, but it at least kind of gives you a status on, you know, what all was wrong with this thing. It was missing a lot of stuff, intake, head components, debris guard, the uh, carb needed to be redone, fuel tank needed to be cleaned out, new fuel filter, new fuel lines. The plug boot was torn, and the last straw, I think, was this uh, spark plug porcelain being cracked, even though it did work. So um, that's when I kind of just threw in the towel on this one. But uh, the parts from the other unit that we have here, the debris guard with the hardware, the spool with the spring with a little bit of line, we need the, the knob still for underneath there to hold it on, the plug boot and the spark plug kind of brings this back into the realm of making sense to put this back together and order in the parts it needs beyond this. So I think if you had to tally all these up, um, we're in the like $30, $35 range for brand new parts. And uh, the line, it looked okay. I might reuse it. I might not for this. And the purge bulb looked good too. So I'll make a decision later on when we get into it, but we definitely needed to go through the carb. And from my memory, the pumping side was fine, just needed to be cleaned out, but the diaphragm side was not. So I had ordered a while ago just a multi-pack of just diaphragms. And that's the, the Walbro number for that. With the, uh, the price for each, if you decide to buy the multi-packs instead of the, the single rebuild kit. And then uh, from my partial gasket stash, I had the gasket for that. So we should be good as far as rebuilding that carb with the, this purge bulb and that gasket diaphragm. So we'll get you set up and we'll do that next. Okay, well, I think we got everything laid out to go through the carb and uh, off camera, I cleaned up the tank. I'll have to show you a picture of what it looked like beforehand. But it's nice and clean now. That is probably the, uh, the worst tank I've seen on one of these trimmers to date, so. I guess that has that going for it. So let's get that carb off and take a look again. So the gaskets match up and the diaphragms match up. So we should be good there. Let's double check that. So WT. It's a little low. But we'll pry that up a little bit. too much.
that's good there. And the needle moves, so we're good. Okay, good on that side. Yeah, this side was good from before. And it looks like I already cleaned this out, so we're just going to put this back together with the other primer bulb. Since that one's cracked. the lines so my game plan with the lines is I'm gonna use this uh, still good line from the other unit on the return side and then uh, I'm gonna put a new line in for the fuel filter line and uh, I scrounged up a good used filter that we can use on this because the filter that came out of it looks like that so we definitely can't reuse that so uh, yeah I'll put uh, fresh cuts on this and uh, get that fed in do the fuel, and uh, we'll get the car back on. Okay, since I'm going to put the car back on, I might as well show you that I need to replace this component since it's cracked. And I got that here. I found it on eBay for $650. I'll help you guys out with part numbers as I go. I don't remember them off the top of my head right now. But with that, I got the filter. So that was like $350 or $4. And uh, the outer filter cover. That snaps on that was seven bucks so i think we're in it you know 15 20 so far so uh we'll get that out of the bag here and get the car put back on
let's try to get this boot off. So if you don't know, there's this little piece inside the boot that pierces the, uh, the conductor wire and then snaps onto the top of the spark plug. So we need to feed that back through the boot and then slide the other boot back on. So I have sprayed this out with some soapy water. So I'm gonna get a screwdriver in there and kind of push that through. And uh, hopefully I don't get in the way of you guys seeing it. Yeah, come on. So that got stuck in there, so we'll have to pull that out. And not break it. Okay. All right, so it might be hard to see, but there's a hole right here in the conductor where that goes in. And then this is the other boot that I already sprayed down, so we're just gonna feed it in. Okay, yep, and we're in. Let's get that plug out. Okay, we should be good there. All right, the last couple pieces are to put the spool in. So I've got the bump knob for that. That was 450. And we're gonna reuse what was in that other unit here. Okay, it's good there. And then this guard it just fits around here.
Okay. All right, well, we're back outside. And I got this thing put back together. So I've got fuel in there. It's purging well. So let's see if we uh, can't get this thing running. We probably needs an adjustment. It takes the, uh, the square D uh, tool. And there's no A or B markings on this, probably because it's aftermarket, but the down is choke and up is run. So see where we see where we're at. Well, we got a runner, so we brought back the uh, the original home light from my first video using parts from that equipment lot unit. So you might ask why I chose to pick this one strictly because it looks better. So the plastics on that other one um, were just really, really faded. So this one will obviously look better and, and sell better because of that. So we were in this $20, $25 with all those parts. Uh, my guess in my area, 40, 50 bucks to sell this one, but I'll uh, have to hang on to it to tune it a little bit better because it's still cold out right now. But yeah, we'll leave this one here and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.